When you record your video content or podcast with Riverside, you can actually export all of the individual video tracks, media files, and screen shares directly into Adobe Premiere. When you export from Riverside for Adobe Premiere, you get all the individual media files plus an XML file, and you can import that into Adobe Premiere, and everything will be laid out in a single sequence in sync, and then you can edit it how you'd like. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button. To export your recordings for Adobe Premiere, go to your studio and click View Recordings. Navigate to the episode you would like to export. Then in the top right corner, click the Export button. Scroll down and choose Adobe Premiere Pro. Here you can choose to export the WAV files in addition to videos, media board files you played during the episode. If you're on our Teams plan, you can also set markers during the recording, and of course individual video tracks and screen shares. Click Export Now, and it will generate a zip file to download. You'll get an email when it's done processing, and then click Download Timeline. Riverside will then download a zip file to your computer with all the individual media files and that XML file you can import to Adobe Premiere. Once the zip file has been downloaded, double-click to expand it, and you'll see all the media files, including that XML file for Adobe Premiere. Then, in Adobe Premiere, create a new project. You can title it New Podcast Episode or whatever you'd like. Then here in Adobe Premiere, go up to File, Import, and in the folder you just unzipped, import this XML file. This will actually bring in all of the media files from your recording directly into Adobe Premiere. And among those files is also a sequence with everything put together in a single timeline. Here you can see there's video files for both hosts, the raw uncompressed wave audio for both hosts as well, and any media from the media bin that was shared or images shared via screen share will actually appear in the sequence as well, completely in time with the rest of the recording. As you record, if you want to edit out something later or mark a point where you need to insert some video or audio, click the Mark Clip command in the bottom toolbar and it will mark a timestamp. And when you import a recording via that XML file into Adobe Premiere, it will also add those markers directly into the sequence timeline where you marked them during the recording. And that's how Riverside makes it easy to export all of the individual video tracks, audio tracks, and screen shares or media board files you can export directly to Adobe Premiere and then it's easy to edit afterwards with everything already in sync and in place in a sequence. If you'd like to learn more about how you can use Riverside for high quality video productions and podcasts, subscribe to the channel. We have lots of content on how to start a podcast, automating your podcast production, how to upgrade to video podcasts, and lots of equipment recommendations. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.